it because somebody else did it. We're saying let's do it because nobody's ever done it before. That's the kind of thing we need to be thinking about in Aurora. Now, there's a couple other places where we've done that too. How many of you have heard about a project called Acre? Right? About three people. I'm going to tell you about it today. When you're going home, I want you to look on the odometer in your car and drive for about two miles. Then imagine turning the corner and driving for a mile at a right angle. About two square miles of land. That's the net land that Aurora owns out by Bennett. And what we're doing is turning that piece of ground into a proving ground for renewable energy technologies. And we already have our first tenant. It's a program called SolarTAC. And the person who runs SolarTAC, Dustin Smith, is here. Dustin, why don't you wave at everybody? Okay. SolarTAC is an idea where companies that are using solar energy, so photovoltaics, but also an idea called solar thermal. Okay. And that's where you use like a, it looks like a big half, like a half a cylinder and you use that to focus the sun onto a pipe and heat up fluids and you use those fluids to make steam and to generate power. I always thought it'd be a great place to roast marshmallows but Dustin says we can't do that. But solar tack is the first tenant and a very successful tenant out at Acre. It's a project that the city council has adopted, that our staff has adopted. It's something that nobody else is doing and it's that hook that lets Aurora compete you know, one of the things that's happened with the green economy is we've all heard about how the green economy is going to generate a whole bunch of jobs. And it's really not true. The green economy just gives us the opportunity to compete. It doesn't automatically bring jobs to Colorado and it doesn't automatically bring jobs into Aurora. It's an opportunity to compete. And as pioneers, if we're gonna compete, we have to do something different and something better than everybody else is doing. And that's why Acre is important. Because our city council has adopted that and said, we're gonna take our resources, we're gonna build this park, and we're gonna open it up so that people around the metro area can have an engineering arm in one place, but the place they're gonna come and do their testing is in Aurora. It's really far-sighted, no one had done it before. It's the model of pioneering. I want to talk about another example called WISE. It stands for Water Infrastructure Supply Efficiency. Is that right, Rod? I can't believe I remembered that. How many of you know a water engineer personally? About three of you? Okay. Never ever let them come up with an acronym. <laughs> WISE. Okay. WISE is a pioneering idea. It's something no one's ever done in Colorado before. It's the Denver Water Board, Aurora Water, and all the groups in the South Metro area in Northern Douglas County and in Arapahoe County, all those different water providers are coming together to say voluntarily, we're gonna work on working our, our infrastructure as one unit. It doesn't sound like much until you stop and think about the ability to bring water to citizens across the front range without taking water away from our own citizens. And we're doing it by making more efficient use of our pipes, more efficient use of our reservoirs, and more efficient use of the water that we have. It's a great idea. It's a pioneering idea. We're not doing it because people have been doing it for years. We're doing it because no one's ever done it before. If you look around the country, something kind of like this was done in Las Vegas, but it wasn't done voluntarily. It was done because they were forced to do it. The first people who looked at doing something on their own, voluntarily, to say how can we supply water to all of our residents while protecting each of our own jurisdictions is the people in this front range. Again, we're not doing it because a whole bunch of other people have done it. We're doing it because no one else has done it. It's that pioneering attitude. The last thing I want to talk about from us being pioneers is the Accelerate Colorado trip. How many of you have heard about that? Oh, actually a lot of people, good. Accelerate Colorado is a new idea. Now, Colorado is actually a relatively small state. We only have seven representatives and two senators like everybody else. When you go back to Washington, 
we're actually pretty small. We're not California, we're not Texas, we're not even Illinois. So if we want to be effective, we're going to do it only if we band together. Well, about uh, four or five years ago, the Aurora Economic Development Council started leading an effort where we would go to Washington with government leaders and business leaders to say to our own delegation, here's what we want to accomplish. And when we did that, we were pretty effective. But just like sometimes when a pioneer would go off to a new land, what they'd really find out is the place where they thought they would settle isn't the best place. It's the next valley over, and they'd keep going. Well, the Aurora Economic Development Council and our business community did the exact same thing. Over the last two years, they've grown that from being really an Aurora mission to a front range mission. And last week, we had people from as far north as Weld County, as far south as El Paso County, from Jefferson County, Lakewood, Arapahoe County, who was a prime sponsor of the entire trip. Adams County came. And the mayor of Denver came on this Aurora-based Accelerate Colorado trip. No one's ever done that in Colorado before. It's the first time that anybody has organized the entire front range, business leaders and government leaders together. We had more than 100 people go to Washington and talk about our needs together. An example of those is uh, aerospace. If we can get more funding for aerospace, companies in Aurora, but Adams County, Arapahoe County, in Jefferson County, in downtown Denver, in Douglas County, all those communities are going to benefit because of this pioneering work, because we're doing something that nobody's ever done before. And that's the key. It's not just about saying, what's been done before, let's do the best of what other people have done. It's about saying, let's do something because no one's ever done it. And it's in our DNA. It's something that all of us have back in our past, whether it was our parents or our great, 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 great grandparents. Somebody in our families left what they knew to come here, whether they came here from Ireland or Thailand or another foreign country, Minnesota, wherever it was that they came from. <laughs> the key is they left what they knew. They said, I can do better because I'm strong, because I have vision, but also because when I get there, I'm going to work with the people who are there and I'm going to build a community. So what I'm going to ask that we do as we leave today is not try and do a year's resolution about being a pioneer. How many people are still upholding their New Year's resolutions? You, you notice my hand's not up. I'm going to ask that we think for just one month, just the month of June. What can we be doing that is in that same spirit of our own families who left what they knew and tried something different? How can we each be pioneers and how can we make Aurora the most pioneering community in the metro area? I really appreciate you all coming. And uh, with that, if anybody has any really pointed questions, I'd be happy to answer them or hand them off to city council. Thank you.